Hey guys, I'm Manny the Phenom of Phenom Studios. Here once again, uh, I want to talk to you about something serious. I've been meaning to talk about it. I, I just went through a, a Comic Con Revolution over this past weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Today's Tuesday, and I talked to a lot of writers and artists, and ha I've had ideas to make a, a video about this uh, topic. And I'm just acting on it now. Uh, I was just listen listening to Ed Milet, who's a influencer he, he, and he kind of just sparked something in me so um, I was going to do this eventually but no better time than now now that it's in my head and um, I think it's a it's a, a good thing to practice is uh, don't wait to take action like do it now or you may not ever do it um, so I don't know how how qualified I am to talk about this because I'm not I haven't accomplished Anything career-wise in art or writing, um, I'm new to all that, and I'm just starting out. I'm taking online drawing courses right now, and I, I went to my first artist alley this weekend uh, as a seller. And uh, so I'm like I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a baby in, in all this right now, but um, I think I, I can I can talk about it a little bit just because I deal with it and I feel I'm I feel it all the time. And I learned some stuff over the weekend, and uh, I do a lot of personal development. I, I listen to a lot of podcasts and videos, so I, I can talk about it a little bit, and maybe I can help some of you guys out. So as a human being, not just an artist or a writer, but as a human, be a human being, you're naturally going to feel fears and, and doubts. The, the fears come from your mind trying to protect you from pain. Um, because you're worried about failing or you're not going to accomplish something and you don't want to you don't want to deal with the consequences of that you don't want to feel that pain so your mind is making you feel these negative feelings to stray away from from getting to that point so that, that that's what stops a lot of people from taking ash, action and and getting anything done and trying to achieve their goals and or dreams you know or uh, in applying themselves but it's important to separate yourself from your mind what you want to do as a a being a soul a spirit I'm not sure what the terminology is what you want to do and what your mind wants to do are two separate things your mind is like a defense mechanism it's your I should say your brain it's, it's, it's wired to to lead you from harm and to protect you the the pain, the being uncomfortable, you, is what's gonna help you grow. It's what's, it's what's gonna make you grow. So you have to lean towards that. You can't listen to your brain when when it's saying that stuff because uh, it, it's bringing up fears and, and stuff that's not true, that's not real. Um, like uh, so, for me personally, I have aspirations of, of making a graphic novel, getting into the comic book industry, uh, becoming a great artist, being able to write and draw my own comic. And I'm nowhere near that right now. I'm not. I I can't possibly do that at the moment. Not well, anyways. And I just don't know how to do it. I don't even know how to make the panels. I don't know how to uh, do sequential art. Do a, where, where to put the the bubbles and of the dialogue and how to how to make the flow nice. I, I don't know anything. All right. So I was talking to Jeff Decal at the con, and um, I was telling him, I was telling him how you know it's this huge mountain. And I'm at the very bottom, and it just seems so insurmountable. And, and he stopped me right there, man. He 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 was he said, he was saying to, you know, like you're you're living in the future, and the future isn't real. The future doesn't exist. Like, you need to be present in the now. You need to take steps to work toward your goals in the now. That's all you should be worrying about. You're living in the future, and you're you're causing all this anxiety, all this fear telling yourself stories and you're making all of it up and it's it's debilitating you those weren't his exact words I'm adding to it but that's what he was pretty much saying it's to, it's 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 uh, it's hindering you stuff that's not even real it's just you're making it up in your mind uh, I'm not gonna be able to do this you're comparing yourself I'm, I'm comparing myself to People who have accomplished much more than me. People who started as kids, as writers and artists who've been honing their skills and now they're an adult in the comic book industry, killing it. And and 
I was talking to all these all these guys, all these writers and artists at the con, all these professionals, like, man, I'm starting at 27 trying to do this, like, I'm so far behind, like, is there, there's no, there's like, it feels like there's no way I'm going to get there and, and accomplish uh, what they've accomplished or, or even get in the comic, comic book industry. But, again, I need to live in the now. Um, um, these are all accu accusations, stuff, stories I'm making up. I can't do this, I can't do that. Why? Nothing, nothing's stopping me. Like, literally nothing's stopping me. So it's important to live in the now and take action towards uh, your dreams and goals. You need to be able to answer this question. Are you doing everything in possible that you can every day on the daily to move, to move you closer to your goal? And you need to answer that. If not, then then yeah, you're gonna have a lot of doubt and fear because you're not doing anything, and and you should have those negative feelings because that's what's key, that's what's that's what's that's what's gonna get you back on track. Your your something inside you is gonna tell you like you are not moving towards what you really want to do, and you're gonna feel that crappy feeling, and you have to listen to it and and walk towards it. Don't run away from from that pain, man. You need to go towards the pain. It's gonna teach you. And uh, once you once you listen to it, you, you you'll you'll know. Okay, to get rid of this pain, I can't run away from it. I need to deal with it. I need to confront it by being productive. Being productive for me is taking my online courses um, daily. Uh, I, I I'm, I'm working on an assignment right now. I wanted to go to the, be able to go to the next assignment. Drawing every day. Posting to Instagram or YouTube, this stuff makes me feel productive. It makes me feel good. It makes me feel like I'm moving closer to my goal. It's most certainly taking the class assignments. I need to learn how to, the principles of art, you know. So it's going to look different for all of you guys, uh, what, what being productive is. But I feel like it, it would be related to what I'm talking about. And if you're really lost, like you don't have goals or dreams, um, then then. You, then you need clarity. That's that's what I would get to first. Like you need to figure out what you want to do, and to figure that out, you need to get you need to get specific. So, so to get specific on what you want to do, you need to try a bunch of different things. Like, um, I'm a I'm a creator. I feel that in my being. I want to create. So does that mean making movies, making shorts, making animation, uh, making making vlogs? Uh, making comics, graphic novels, uh, doing uh, strips in the newspaper, the comic strips, uh, being a graphic designer, working in games. Like, what does that mean? I want. I want to be a creator. So, um, so that's a broad umbrella. And you, and for me, I need to start trying things. And once you try things, you're gonna start figuring out what you like and don't like, and then it's gonna lead you to other things. Okay, I don't really like that. Let me lean towards this. Oh, I kind of like that. Let me go deeper, deeper into that. Um, okay, and then it, it just it keeps branching out, and then it, you'll, it's, it'll start getting more specific for you, and you'll figure out what you want to do. Maybe you want to do many things. No one has to do one thing, and uh, you figure it out that way. I was talking to Andre Lorenzo Molinari. Um, he's a guy. He's in his fifties. He he just came out with his graphic novel. Uh, he's he's like three volumes deep into this graphic novel called The Shepherd. But I was talking to him, and he started late in life. <laughs> I mean, he made a graphic novel late in life. He he was an English major, a teacher, so he had a writing background, so he had that going for him. But um, he he I was talking to him, and he was like, he he like grabbed me by the shoulder, and he was just trying to like ease my mind. Like, you're gonna be okay, man. You're you're so young. You're gonna make it. You don't don't worry about that. That's that stress you don't you don't need to worry about. It. Just you're you're gonna make it, and that that made me feel so good to hear that from someone. And uh, he had other older people with them, around his age, and they're all like, "Yeah, man, we all started like in our forties. Like, you're you're gonna be okay, dude." And and one of his artists for his for his comic, uh, I'm sorry, I don't remember his name, but he was telling me like everyone has their own path. Like, yeah, these guys started at a young age, but. That that wasn't meant for you. That that wasn't your path. 
and uh, everyone needs to make their own path. Not everyone's going to do the same thing. I happen to be someone who's 27 who's going to start now and make an awesome graphic novel and become famous. That's the path I'm taking. Uh, but it, it all starts with action and living in the now. What are you doing in this moment to move you closer to your goal? That's, that's all you need to ask every day. I spoke with Don Rosa for a bit. He, he's really old. He does the Donald Duck comics. He, 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 he doesn't even charge anything for his autographs or pictures. I believe he does even does free sketches. He just goes to these cons for fun and to meet fans, which is insane. It's completely insane that he does this for free. I, no one, no one does that. Like, I, I've seen people who will give autographs and they'll take pictures for free, which is awesome. But to, to do free commissions is crazy. So that, that was cool to hear. Walter Osley is another guy who's, who's 40, who in his 30s decided to make a graphic novel. And he, and he did it. He, he's made several graphic novels. He had a Kickstarter. He's raised over $40,000 uh, to make his book. Let me get his book. This is one of Walter's graphic novels. I bought it from him, uh, this, from him, this con. And just uh, beautiful, beautiful book. I haven't read it yet, but I'm going to. He drew and wrote all of this, and it just, it looks beautiful. The colors, the drawings, the backgrounds. I can't, I, I'm really looking forward to reading it. it. It looks fun. And this is The Shepherd that I was telling you about that from from Andre Lorenzo Molinari. This is The Shepherd. Got to read that. I bought three, all three volumes of The Shepherd. I was even talking to current X-Men writer Ed, Ed Brinson, who's wrote for for Old Man Logan. He's done Iron Fist. He's done his his own. He's done, he's done stuff for, for Image. I, I bought stuff from him as well. I bought Iron Fist from him. This is Jeff Decal. He's the cover artist, and then Ed, Ed Brinson's the writer. I got his autograph. Um, and this is uh, one of his in, Image comics, uh, a story that he made, uh, characters he made that, that I got from him. But he was telling me he like he's 37. Like he started as an artist. It, like and he, he he said he was trying for 15 years to get into uh, Marvel, I guess, as an artist, and he could never he never made it, and now he's a writer, and he's 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 a really big big time writer right now for for Marvel, and um, it's just everyone has their own path, you know, and at these panels, I I was asking uh, these professional artists questions about, cause when cause when you look at these comics, you know, it, it's hard just to draw hands and anatomy, but then. You see the, the elaborate, ba elaborate backgrounds or elaborate backgrounds of like a store window, signs, uh, food, cans, newspapers, uh, uh, cabinets, doorknobs, and like sidewalks, cars, and railings. Like I was asking them, how, do you know what everything looks like as you're going down? Because that's what scares me when I'm, like, cause when I'm looking in the future. Like what the hell? how am I supposed to memorize that? I'm I'm not gonna be I'm never I'm never gonna be there to know what everything looks like. Like it's gonna take freaking forty years to memorize stuff. So I was asking them like do you guys, do you guys have everything memorized? And they're like, no. Like uh, what's her name? Um, Megan Hutchinson. She was saying like she's like I don't think anyone has any everything mem mesmerized. Um, Juan Navarro. He was saying that he has a folder with like a thousand different French doors in it. Uh, uh, Jeff Decal was saying, do what you have to to get the art done. Like don't, uh, references is okay. References are okay. I was, I was talking to Patrick Broderick and uh, Ralph Cabrera. Uh, Ralph Cabrera was saying like, he'll swipe a, a Bentley or, or, or whatever off of Google and he'll trace it, he'll make it his own, but he'll trace it, like he's talking about his, for, for advertisement. I'm sure they do that for comics too. Um, like do what you have to to get the art done. And, and uh, that, that made me feel good. Like you don't have to memorize everything. Like you, over time you do memorize stuff. You like, you'll, you'll start remembering what muscles look like and whatnot, but you're not gonna memorize everything. And uh, Megan Hutchinson, she was saying, she was saying, she, she, I forgot what program she uses, but she'll use a 3D model of a room and then kind of just draw her characters on top of the room. Like she'll build the room up. Uh, and, uh, and I guess that's easier for her. So, so, so instead of her drawing and making everything up from her head, she can just th 3D model it. And uh, I guess, I don't know what the, the program does, but maybe just puts walls together. And so she uses that as a guideline, which is really good to know. Yeah, I was asking, I asked Chris, uh, Chris Ellie Polois. 
uh, Chris Elipoulos. I'm sorry, I can't pronounce your name. Uh, I'm sure he's not watching this. But I asked him, like, is it ever, are you ever too old to get in the comic book, comic book industry? And he's like, and he's saying, no, man. If you have a thought, thoughts and ideas, you need to get that out. Get that out on paper or, or it's going to eat away at you. Uh, so you have to get that out. Um, I, was, I even asked uh, Megan uh, Crane. Yeah, Megan Cray. Megan Cray, she, she does portraits for celebrities. And, I was, and uh, I, was saying, I was asking her, what keeps you going? I caught her at the end of the con. Everyone was packing up. And I said, what keeps you going? Because all these comic book artists and professionals, like, a lot of them have still have regular jobs, and it's, like, tough. They don't make a lot of money. And some some people talk badly about the industry. And uh, I was asked, she's not in the comic book industry, but she does. She is an artist, and she has a regular job, and she comes to these cons. So I'm like, what keeps you going through all the, like, tough times? And she was saying community. And every, every time she comes to a con, she's she's meeting more writers and artists and learning and growing and everyone's so helpful and so, so it's just a friendly positive environment and I completely agree, agree with that being my first con it, it she was completely completely right about that everyone was so helpful Jeff Decal recommended a book for me called uh, Living in the Now that's by Living in the Now by uh, Eckhart Tolle that's E C K H A R T Tolle T O L L E Living in the Now I ordered it from the library. And I've been watching his videos on YouTube. Living in the now, like I was saying at the beginning. <clears throat> Are you doing everything possible that you can today in the now to move you closer to your goals? Tom Billy talks about that a lot. So you gotta stop live, living in the future and, and causing yourself anxiety. It doesn't exist and it doesn't matter. What are you doing now? Create your own path. You can make it, you can do it, but you need to start teaching yourself. You need to start learning and putting in the work are you taking the classes, online classes? Are you working on, on your anatomy? Are you are you doing everything that you know you should be doing? With me, I was feeling all that doubt, like, oh, I can't draw and um, I'm bad at art and yada, 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 and I don't know how to write. But I didn't, I haven't put the years in, I haven't put the time in. Like, I'll, I'll draw and I've, I've watched some videos on YouTube and like, it's not, I uh, still, like, it's not, it's getting okay, better, but it's not good. But that's not that's not putting time in. That's putting a little bit of time in. Now I'm taking online courses. I'm learning the fundamentals, the structures, and like the real nitty gritty of art and, and how to do it. And and I feel myself growing. Are you putting the time in? This the second book I'm gonna recommend for you is called The War of Art by Stephen Pressfield. This is a must read. I haven't read this uh, Living in the Now yet. I'm going to, but it, it, Je Jeff T. Cal highly recommend it running it to me he said i have to read it so i'm sure that's a must read i'm gonna read it but i have read the war of art but stephen pressfield you must read that that's for any artist or writer you have to read that if you haven't read it do it now i'm telling you it's gonna help you out a lot but that, that's it for this video guys let me know if you got anything from it please let me know uh, your thoughts your fears in the comment section we can talk this out um uh, i hope this video was uh, valuable at, um just even a little bit that would be awesome I, I only made this video just to give value so i ho hope you guys got something out of it please leave a comment and a like <clears throat> so i know if i should keep making more of these videos but that's it for this one guys i'm may the phenom until next time phenom out